people here who are going to help us put it in perspective and get some understanding on what it really means. Uh, let me introduce my guests for this interview, Mrs. Antoinette Ashong. She is the chair of Montessori Foundation of Ghana and the executive director of Mount Eagle Shore Start and also the organizer of the Early Childhood Association of Ghana. Good morning. Good morning. And then also we have Dr. Melissa Kolbach. She is the chair of Montessori programs and faculty in College of Education at Sarasota University. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Uh, uh, we're happy to have you here to discuss early childhood education and then also the different styles there are to impact knowledge to children. We, I mean, a few years back, myself, I had heard about Montessori style of teaching and uh, we had Montessori schools and people thought that they were uh, for special kids. Majority of us did not understand what it meant. But let me ask that question directly. What is a Montessori system of education? That's sure. With you. So the Montessori method has been around for over a hundred years mm. and Dr. Maria Montessori developed a system where she could nurture children academically, socially, and emotionally. And it's not something that just happens at school. It begins at birth, it's nurtured in the home, and it's extended in, into the schools. Mm. So Dr. Montessori identified that it happens at birth and she called this time period the sensitive period from birth to three years old which we know that's our early childhood system age range. Mm. So it's all about preparing the environment, stimulating curiosity and children naturally want to learn just like when you push a baby around in a stroller they're looking around they're absorbing the world and she called this the absorbent mind because it's like a sponge and children want to learn and they absorb everything. And it's normally between the ages of zero to three years. They're the, the, the early part of the child's brain that does the absorption, is that it? Absolutely. So we know that Montessori in many states can, is carried through 12th grade, but one genius thing that Montessori developed was age groupings. So mm -hmm. the periods that are grouped together are zero to three, early childhood, mm. ages three to six, which is called primary, and then six to nine, nine to 12, and 12 to 15. Mm. Now what that develops is a mentoring program. Mm -hmm. So let's say that I struggle with a concept, but Antoinette is good at that concept. She can help me as a mentor in the classroom. Okay, um, how different is that system from the regular uh, or traditional system of education? Uh, with the regular or traditional, most of the time, the teacher does a lot of the talking. But mm. in the Montessori classroom, the child is given the opportunity to work with materials to understand this concept that the child is working with. For example, if you have to count, you don't just count 1 to 10, but there are materials which we call the number rod, and it helps the child to understand quantity in the classroom. So it's better with a Montessori class. It ha also helps um, develop the child, like she has said, in all areas. It accommodates all the learning styles of education. We have the visual learners, the kinesthetic learners, the auditory learners. And in the Montessori class, this is taken care of. So, I mean, would you then advise, looking at what you've said, there certainly would be some advantages and disadvantages or there seem to be more advantages with the Montessori style of teaching as compared to the traditional. Which of them would you recommend and if you can help us understand what those main differences are? Sure. So I think a perfect blend is to take a traditional classroom and infuse Montessori. So it's not that one is good and one is bad. Okay. I'm absolutely taking the traditional setting but one major difference is the freedom of movement. So students have freedom within boundaries. Sometimes when people hear Montessori, they think, oh, children can just do whatever they want. But that's not the case at all. It's actually very structured, but the children have choices. So that empowers them and it excites them about learning. The other thing is students can work in a pair. They can work in a group. They can work individually, but they're not sitting in a desk for eight hours a day. And I think that's what's hard for a lot of students because a lot of, especially boys, are very busy and so being able to be up and have control of their freedom of movement and working on the floor 
or choosing to sit at a desk if they want to. That's one of the big components that's very different. And just marrying up the two traditions together, um, and it's really about infusing the Montessori philosophy. Okay. And we talked about earlier, you don't even have to have all Montessori materials. You can use any manipulative, anything to, so they can have hands-on learning okay. and kind of a project-based learning style. I see. And um, putting it into perspective here in Ghana, how have, what would you say the reception has been like, uh, Montessori style? Yes. Um, a lot of schools are now getting to understand the importance of early education, getting to understand the Montessori system. So a lot and a lot of schools want to be part of the system. It's just that it's the understanding, like she said, that they think that they have to do certain things in a certain way. That's why we are going to run the uh, professional development workshop this week to help schools educators of early childhood mm -hmm. and does really understand that system so that we can spread the Montessori philosophy throughout Ghana. Okay. Now let's uh, focus on the workshop which is coming off today. Can you help us understand what informed the decision to organize such a workshop? Okay, um, like you just introduced me, I'm the organizer of Early Childhood Association of Ghana, okay. and th that Early Childhood Association looks more of helping love, care, and educate the zero to six year olds because we believe that that is the very important stage of life. Anything that child misses, misses it forever. Mm. So we decided to bring um, Dr. Melissa Corbett to ho hold workshops to let people who are into the early childhood education understand that part mm. of life, zero to six, yes. and then we'll be able to help our children because we believe that as the children know, as the teachers understand the children, we'll have a yes. better future and better adults. Okay. Yeah. Because then, um, Montessori naturally instills order, instills discipline, instills independence creativity. and creativity. So if a, ch a person is creative in whatever he or she is doing, I think our nation will go forward. Okay, my final word to you would be, what should we expect uh, since you are going to be helping us properly understand what the Montessori system is like? What are the expectations? So I think the first expectation is it's just a wonderful honor to come to this country and to meet Antoinette and work together. So today and this week's really about collaborating. It's sharing my experiences and what I know and Antoinette and what the needs are here and just really talking about how do you find people's strengths, how do you nurture them, and how do you really create that prepared environment that allows children to thrive. Okay. All right. Uh, well. I think uh, that'll be it. Uh, it's between today and when? And Saturday. In fact, today we are launching the Montessori Foundation of Ghana, where we are going to share Montessori philosophy, resources, international connections throughout Ghana. So that is what we are launching. And then having the first session, which is for school owners, administrators and heads to really understand and the, the venue system. Would be? The venue is at the Nat Hall, Accra, Bediakon. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. So uh, if you are into early childhood education, I'm sure that um, the answers you've been looking for right in front of you. So join them there at the Nat Hall. I'm sure you'll get a lot more information that you've been looking for on or about early childhood education, especially the Montessori system. Thank you very much. Uh, Mrs. Antoinette Shong, Chair of the Montessori Foundation of Ghana and Executive Director of Mount Eagle Shaw Start, and then also the organizer of the Early Childhood Association of Ghana. And then also a big thank you to Dr. Melissa Kolbach. She is the Chair of Montessori Programs and Faculty in College of Education in uh, at the Sarasota University. Thank you very much for joining us.